Coach, get an opening statement on tonight's win over Charleston. <laughs> Man, that was um, that was fun. That was fun. That was an electric atmosphere. That was the best atmosphere uh, that I've been a part of. Um, my time here, my time at NC State. That was better than uh, UNC, uh, North Carolina State rivalry, uh, North Carolina State Duke. That was the best atmosphere that I've ever been a part of, uh, and it was all because of our our fans. Um, they got here early. They got here. I got a text from one of my assistant coaches at like 3.30 and said the parking lot was full uh, in the back, and um, they, were, they were rowdy. They were rowdy. I came here, and I greeted them. Um, that was fun. I almost fell off the stage, but uh, that was fun. Uh, but the game, the game, it was a uh, heck of a game. All right, it was a game of, uh, you know, back and forth. We knew it would be. We knew it would be a uh, – I compared it to a UFC fight with our guys. We knew it would be back and forth, and um, we would get hit. We wanted to hit them back, and we did. Um, what a good team that is. Got a lot of respect for Pat. Got a lot of respect for his team. They play extremely hard. Okay, they're well coached. They execute so well. But tonight it's about it's about our guys. It's about UNCW basketball. And um, man, when they hit us, we we responded with a couple hits every time, and we delivered. We delivered. And um, tonight I'm very proud of the guys because we finished like champions. Yes, you just spoke to the hits, man. Charleston's defense was forcing a lot of late shot clock possessions in the first half, it felt like. And then coming out in the second half, it seems like something you guys adjusted to very well. Was there a focal point there, or is there anything that you saw that was able to see that adjustment? It was. I got a little frustrated. I got a little frustrated with um, with my with my uh, staff a little bit because um, the plan was to, to make sure we, we stayed in the middle of the court, the middle third, and um, you know, try to attack them off ball screens, and and we did it a little bit, but I thought we should have did it a little bit more um, in the first half, um, and that's what that's what stuck us up because we were trying to get from side to side, and we weren't getting any penetration plays. Um, and then in the second half, we wanted to stay in the middle of the floor and work operate off a of ball screen in the middle, and um, we made some we made some really good plays, but we held them to to thirty some percent. What was it, 31% in the second half? We held them to 31% in the second yeah. half. And we weren't really guarding in the first half. It was way too easy for them. That's what won us the ball game. Three blocks and five steals, but you know we always talk about things that are off the stat sheet that you, you know, coaches and, and people that have been around the game a long time see. What did you see from your defense that really, really got you guys a victory today? Uh, we, were, we were feisty. We were feisty. We were flying around. We were very sound when we needed to be. Um, you know, we didn't rebound it. Quite uh, quite as well as we needed to. We have to clean that up, but they're relentless at going to the glass. Um, but we were flying around. You know, we, we adjusted our pick and roll coverage. Uh, we wanted to help off certain guys. Uh, our guys made the adjustments, and we fought like crazy, and and we made a miss. Thank you, coach. You spoke about it a little bit already, but five for ten in the first half from deep, eight for twenty nine to finish the game. Um, you know, just speak again to to you know adjustments and even yeah. just maybe um, you know mentality shift to just you know running them off the three point line in the yeah. second half. That that was um, that was obviously a, a a big key in the game is running them off the three point line. They shoot it um, at a pretty good clip, but they make ten a game. That's a part of who they are. Forty eight percent of their shots are threes, um, so we knew we had to guard the three point line better. Uh, in the second half. And some of the ones in the first half, it was our fault because we were going under number zero and he stuck three on us. Um, and then the kid number 12, we were going under his ball screens and he hit one on us too. Uh, but we made our adjustments in the second half and uh, we had a sense of urgency to get out on the three-point line and um, and close them out. And they tried to play the power game with us. They were throwing it into the big boy. They were driving us a little bit and that's not necessarily who they are. And so, um, you know, I thought our guys did a really good job of adjusting. I asked um, one of your coaches what he, I thought, what he thought the key of the game, to the game would be. He said toughness. How do you think you guys did in that category? Yeah, I thought we were tough. I mean, you, you're not, you don't beat those guys if you're not tough. Okay, uh, we can look at the rebounding and, and get a little upset about some of the uh, offensive rebounds that we gave up. Um, but the mental toughness um, was there. We never flinched. You know, I, I, I often saw Trezarian. I often saw um, Donovan and Shaquem rallying the troops when things didn't go so well. And we responded. Okay. I just told a group um, that win did not happen tonight. Obviously, it did. But it happened a few weeks ago when we were going through our adversity, how they responded to it. And we just kept on punching the clock. We stayed positive, we stayed connected. 
we probably grew a little bit in that area. And uh, that's where we won the game at. It wasn't his best game, but 119 left in the game. Charleston down five. They throw it to Berzovich. Shy gets a steal. They go on offense. Nobody else touches the ball. Shy hits the shots to put you guys up seven. Just what are you feeling in that moment? What's going through your mind? And knowing he's hit those shots before, how comfortable are you? Well, my, my first thought, I wanted to call a timeout because I thought back to last year when we were in a pretty similar position when we scored and then they rushed it down and hit a three to close the gap. So I wanted to call a timeout. I've been thinking about that all day. I thought he, I thought Shaquem played his tail off. If you look at his stat sheet, he didn't shoot it well, but he filled the stat sheet up. He had 10 deflections. He had six assists, two turnovers. You know, he was all over the place. Um, and he delivered. He delivered in a major way down the stretch. Season low, four turnovers. Really? That's, is that so? Well, I didn't know that. That's great. That's great. You know, it happens like that when you're, you know, playing off the ball screen a little bit and you're not shifting from side to side and transporting the ball. Uh, from side to side, but um, that's veteran That's uh, veteran guards right there. That's veteran guards. Shaquem had it in his hands a lot, and, um, you know, he doesn't turn it over much. Given how this series last season went and specifically how the season ended, do you feel it's fair to say you guys have gotten the monkey on your back no. or exercised the demon in any way? No, I haven't even thought about that. This is a different season. That I told um, I told John Fanta out there we didn't deserve to win either one of those games last year. Um, obviously, we were in two of them, but uh, we were so disconnected and, and so selfish last year as a group. We didn't deserve to win it. This group is connected. This group is connected and very selfless, and um, we deserve to win tonight. All right, Coach, thank you. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Coach.